Hi, this is Chris from Discovery Learning, and welcome to episode three of our Storyline Magic series, where we have been exploring some of the things that you can achieve with your Articulate Storyline content with the help of some extra CSS and JavaScript code. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can create this smooth image zoom in and out animation using just a few lines of custom CSS code. To make this trick work, we first need to apply an accessibility text value to our image in Storyline. This will then allow us to target that specific image with CSS using the value that we have set. To do this, right click on the image in your project and then click Accessibility. Now enter a value into this box. Something explaining what the image is would be recommended just in case a user does use a screen reader to identify the object on the slide, but try to keep this to one word if you can. With this in place, you can publish your project whenever you are ready, as either a web activity or a SCORB or XAPI package. When the project is published, go ahead and open the story.html file in your favourite code editing software. What we'll then do is add our custom CSS code between the style tag that already exists in the head tag of the document. Start by adding an open square bracket and write data hyphen ACC hyphen text. Follow this with a tilde and equal symbol. What these two symbols together mean in code is that we want to target any data accessibility text value containing what is written between these double quote symbols. This is where we will add the accessibility value that we wrote earlier in Storyline. Let's now add a closing square bracket and then write the word div, as we'll be targeting the container for the image with this first CSS code block. Add an open and close curly brace, and within this space we will add an overflow is hidden CSS value. Finish the line with a semicolon. Next we'll quickly duplicate that code block, but this time we want to write some rules for the image itself, so we will change the word div to SVG, and we'll add the following two CSS values between the curly braces. This transition value defines for how long the zoom effect will last, so if you want a fast zoom effect, you can change the second value here. The transform origin value makes sure that the zoom effect is centered throughout. Finally, we'll copy that new code block, and this time we'll create a rule based on if the mouse is being hovered over the image. We do this by writing a colon followed by the word hover. Between the curly braces this time, we will add a transform scale value with the number 1.4 in parentheses. This is the scale value for the zoomed in image, so in my case the image will be magnified to 1.4 times its original size when a mouse is hovered over it. You can play around with this value as you see fit. We're all set, so let's save the story.html file and see the result. As you can see, we get the zoom effect, but with the original image size still intact throughout the transition, like a fixed frame around the edge of the image. This is because we have the overflow hidden value in place in our CSS, but if we wanted, we can change this value to visible, and the image will expand past the boundary of the original size. Finally, if you would prefer to have your image zoom effect occur when the user clicks on the image instead of hovering with their mouse, then you can come back to your CSS values and change the word hover to active. This will change the interaction to a mouse click in order to trigger the zoom transition. But be aware that CSS only allows this to happen whilst the mouse click stays down. We could get around this by introducing an on-click event using JavaScript, but that would be a topic for another video. If you're feeling adventurous, you could also try mixing CSS interactions based on whether the user is hovering their mouse or clicking on the image. Take a look at this code for example. In this case we have four different images on our storyline slide, so we use a comma separator to apply each object to the same CSS rule contained in the curly braces. You can see here that we have a default grayscale value set for each image of 80%. This will then fade to full colour when any of the images are hovered over with the mouse. And as you can see here, the image itself will scale to 1.2 times its size when it is clicked. 
let's take a look at the result in the browser. Thank you for joining us for another episode of our Storyline Magic series. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the Discover eLearning YouTube channel for notifications of future episodes. Bye for now.